What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to another video and if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So, in the back of the E60, pull these down. That does not sound good. So clearly we have an issue. You can hear the motor going. But nothing is moving. We also have a warning light on the dash, so this car just knows everything that's wrong with it. So today we're gonna be taking apart the door panel here and then we're gonna be taking a look inside. I believe the motor is good. It, I think and I hope it's just a regulator problem. Um, it sounds like maybe it's just loose though, so I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and take it apart. All right guys, so the door panel is off. If you have one like mine where it brings the little curtain right here, um, it actually comes off with the door panel. Mine, I actually broke right there. I probably should have watched the video before doing this, but I guess learn from me guys. Um, I think I'm gonna have to hot glue that piece back on because that's what it was held on with. So I think I can just hot glue it and then we'll be good to go. But right now I got everything off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the key in. And now let's see what it does. Oh, I see something. All right guys, so I don't know what's going on yet, but I see some like lines right here moving around. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the motor off and then I guess we can have a closer look at it.
All right guys, so I pretty much have this thing put back together for now. I just gotta roll the window up and I guess tape it up here. The issue was this piece and these cables, I guess just got undone and I don't know exactly how they go. So I'm just gonna go to the local junkyard where I know they have an E60 and just take one of these, bring it home and slap it on and should be good to go. Sucks because I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard next weekend, but that's just how these things go sometimes. All right guys, a few days have gone by already and you guys can call me dumb. I probably deserve that title, but I didn't know that it was the regulator that I was looking at. So I ordered one off eBay and like I found it and I made a $20 offer on it to see if they would take it and they took it. So I was like, sweet. So I got that ordered and it got delivered to the house and the box came a little beat up and the regulator actually came all bent as well. So I don't think this works. Luckily I was able to get a refund for that. So, I mean, I basically have a free regulator that's bent, but I think if I give it a little bit of pressure right here, I can probably straighten it out. All right, so I stepped on it a little bit and I also used this to persuade it a little bit more. And then I had to get the grinder and then I just started grinding the edges right here. Try to get the transition as close to perfect as possible. So now I'm just gonna throw a little bit of paint on it, let it dry and then we'll throw it on the car and see if it works. All right, so I sprayed a coat of paint on it, let it dry overnight. Now, everything comes like pre, like greased or lubed, but it's only a little bit, and everyone says to lube it up more, so we're gonna be using this Blood Lubricants Pro Series Penetrating Oil, so shout out the sponsors. We're gonna go ahead and use this to make sure nothing binds again, and should be good to go.
All right, guys, so I finished it and I cut the grass and then it got dark on me. It's literally only 545 and it's like pitch black here. So I guess we're doing the outro in the dark. <laughs> but yeah, so I fought with that thing for like an hour and a half because you guys saw that it was bent. So my cheap ass was like, I'm going to try to use it anyways. So basically I got it fixed for free, but I had to like grind a bunch of stuff and bend and grind and bend till I could finally get it to go up and down on its own because it would go up to that point where it was bent and then it would just come right back down. So I finally got, got it to where it was supposed to be and now it goes up and down. So yeah, glad to finally have that good to go so I can roll the window up or down whenever I need to. Um, I rode with it for I think like two years with the window stuck closed because I couldn't open it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.